Hey guys, do you ever get really confused about angina, myocardial infarctions, what it all means, what the differences are, how to treat this patient? Well, I am Mary Mormon and I'm a nurse educator here at NRSNG and I am going to hopefully make this a little bit easier to understand. So let's start with an MI or myocardial infarction. So we have a couple things happening here. It's a vascular issue. Blood is not getting to the heart tissue. So without blood and oxygen, we have tissue death to the heart. So this can happen because of coronary artery disease. So we have an occlusion in the vessel happening or thrombosis. Those are usually our biggest causes. So having a clot in there, again, we're occluding blood flow. Blood can't get to the heart, tissue death happens. So think of like a straw as your vessel of that vascular system. So if anything is occluding, we can't get anything through the straw, through the vessel. Um, if you have plaque buildup in the artery, coronary artery disease, it's narrowing, right? So the blood flow, good blood, healthy oxygen, all that cannot get to the heart tissue the way that it should. So these patients, what do they look like? Well, they all have chest pain, right? So they show a chest pain. Um, remember that women though sometimes might have that jaw pain, arm pain, regardless, they have pain somewhere. So you need to do a good thorough assessment on this patient to find out, do we have an MI happening? Do we have angina or is it something totally different, just muscle pain? So how are we gonna treat this patient? Follow a simple mnemonic called MONA. So M is gonna be for our morphine. So this is gonna decrease the workload on the heart and it's also gonna just obviously help with the pain, right? So morphine. O is our oxygen. We wanna give oxygen to this patient. Make sure that all our tissue is getting oxygen. N, so nitrate. So we wanna give things that are going to um, be a vasodilator, right? So that vessel is getting super, super narrow. So we wanna give nitrates to help um, vasodilate so that we can get blood flow, get oxygen where it needs to go. And then our last thing is A for aspirin. So we need to give aspirin as an um, antiplatelet so that we can um, decrease that risk of blood clots forming. Okay, so that is MI. Let's talk about angina. So angina is chest pain, okay? That's all it means. It's a medical word for chest pain. And I know you're probably like, well, that's what an MI is. Well, angina, we don't have tissue death happening yet. Um, we are not having a heart attack, but we do need to fix it before further damage happens. This is usually happening because of the same thing, coronary artery disease. So for this patient, they're gonna present with chest pain. There's three different types of angina they can have, stable, unstable, and then just kind of a mixed, um, it's a variant of them. So let's talk about that real quick. So stable, that is going to be the patient that on exertion, that they have chest pain. You can give them some nitroglycerin and they are better, okay? That is stable, it fixes it. Um, unstable angina just means that they get the chest pain and it's without exertion, they're at rest. Uh, and uh, nitroglycerin will not help this patient. And then our variant just means it's unpredictable, it can happen at rest, it can happen when they're doing something, um, but regardless, whatever it is, we need to fix the cause for that patient. So this patient, when they present, we wanna rule out that it's not an MI, right, and that it's just angina, and we're still gonna do the whole Mona thing, but it's gonna be a little bit different in order. So we can give nitroglycerin, but we only wanna give it three times, a max of three doses, okay? Um, so you're gonna do that. You are going to give morphine only if the pain is still persistent. Um, so it's not just an automatic morphine. So if the pain still persists, oxygen if it's warranted. So if they're showing that they need some oxygen, we give oxygen. And then you're going to still give the aspirin an antiplatelet just to help prevent any clots from forming. So that is um, MI and angina in a nutshell. And I hope that helped cleared up some confusion. If you guys head on over to NRSNG and start your trial today, you can learn more about this and so many other things. All right, guys, go out and be your best selves today. Happy nursing.